Hello YouTubers, thanks for coming back and welcome to my latest build video. This time around I decided to build a quadcopter as you can see. So let's start off with a basic frame. As with most of my builds I decided to use 6mm Depron foam sheet to create it. I cut out the top and the bottom piece as in the diagram here. Then using a temperature controlled hot melt gun I started the assembly. First off I filled in the inside and outside edges. Then added strengthening ribs every 25mm or so along the inside for support. After this I dropped the top on to complete the frame. These next two pictures show the upper frame with the central control area installed. It is large enough to accommodate a single or double battery as well as my KK2 flight control unit which will sit on the top. On the side I added a small housing for my 6 channel receiver. I then dropped in the two side bracing pieces you see made in the same way as the frame for added strength. The central control section was also made box sectional, again with internal ribs to help stabilise and strengthen that area. On the other side of the frame, here in the centre, we see the recessed area which will house the power distribution board. On the front and back of the frame are the four ASC mounting positions. These raised areas will allow air cooling both under and over the four speed controllers. The four feet at each corner were made from rubber type packaging foam. The frame was given two coats of water based varnish and then spray painted with black enamel. As this quad is being built primarily as an aerial video platform, I added camera mounting points front and rear of the frame. Hopefully this will give me access to control gimbal cameras, another project for the near future. The four motor mounts at each corner were also installed. One of the most important things to me is to have stable, jello free video from the mounted cameras and that they be interchangeable. So I came up with this idea of making Debron foam blocks mounted on a 5mm thick balsa wood attached to the frame mounting points with self-tapping screws. These blocks were then drilled out larger than the dowels going into them and filled with flexible silicon. I hope that this will combat vibration from the motors. Time will tell. Holders for my HD keychain camera were made from Tic Tac boxes and Debron. The Debron one was also lined with memory foam, which again should help with vibration. This is how the camera holders look mounted to the frame. The one on the right looking like the eye of a Dalek from a Doctor Who television series. Painted, they blend into the frame a lot better. Plus, being removable, they need only be attached when needed. Next, the 2836-8 1100kV motors were installed and aligned on each corner. Then I mounted the power distribution board and the four ESCs and made the DC connections between them. Now it was time to install the KK2 flight control unit. Powered up briefly and run it through its test sequences just to make sure that everything there was working okay before proceeding. With the FCU working correctly I installed the props and then made sure that the motors were turning in the correct directions as per the diagram in the flight control unit itself. This is the completed underside of the quad, everything wired, all DC connections and uh, receiver connections made to the ESCs etc and uh, tested at this point. This is a view of the completed upper side of the quad looking at it from the front of the machine. And this is another view of the upper side of the quad, but this time looking from the rear. This is how the thing looks illuminated from the front. I've since decided to change that. Those are red are going to be moved to the rear. And I'm going to put blue on the front there for, uh, for orientation. Uh, it's pretty important with quads to know the orientation of them in the sky. That concludes the build section of the video. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll uh, try and show you the thing actually flying if we get a break in the weather here <laughs> um, and we'll have that up shortly. See you later. Two days later at the field. 
Okay, have a testing for this uh, new build. I'm not going to do anything eccentric, we're just going to try hovering it around, see what happens. Just arm the unit. That's it armed. There's a little bit of a breeze this morning. Haven't changed any settings at all, all stock settings. So really it needs dialing in. vibration there somewhere. It's going to be too bad. Sticks are very, very sensitive. Very sensitive. Bad for first attempt. Okay, here's my second flight along with my friend Dave. He's flying his quad and he's filming my quad from his with his GoPro. I'm filming us both from the ground using my cap cam. After my first flight, I thought the quad was way too twitchy, so I've added some export to my transmitter aileron and elevator controls to smooth things out a little bit.
getting a feel for the snow. Right, I think I'm bleeding to you. Well, I'm quite pleased with the outcome. Once my Apnel programmer arrives here, I'll reflash the KK2 with the latest firmware version 1.5, which apparently enhances the self-level capability a great deal. Hope you find this video useful. Please subscribe to the channel or leave a comment. And look out shortly for aerial videos shot from this cord. See you later.